The Gazans were educated, 1,500 degrees phosphorus incinerating your skin. It's an education. One person who was really thrilled, he could barely contain his euphoria, was the New York Times' chief diplomatic expert, Thomas Friedman. Friedman always likes to tell the world how they got it all wrong, we're all simpletons, we don't have his titanic mind, we don't understand the ways of the world the way Thomas Friedman does. So we all think the world is round, but Tommy knows it's flat, <laughs> presumably like his head. And so Friedman wrote during the Gaza massacre, he said, we all got it wrong. We all got it wrong. Israel didn't lose the 2006 Lebanon war. Israel won the 2006 Lebanon war. How did it win? He said because it inflicted substantial property damage and collateral casualties on Lebanon at large. Thereby, it administered an education to Hezbollah. After what Israel did, destroying the civilian infrastructure, killing the Lebanese civilian people, he said Hezbollah will now think three times next time before defying Israel. And he's right. We have to give credit where credit's due. Most of you young, innocent minds, first coming to college, learning the ways of the world, you hear attacking civilians and civilian property infrastructure to achieve a political goal. That sounds like the dictionary definition of terrorism. According to Friedman, Israel attacked civilians and civilian property, and it taught Hezbollah a lesson to think three times next time before messing with Israel. So that sounds like terrorism, and it's true. It is terrorism when folks like us are on the receiving end of such attacks. But when you attack Arab people, civilians, and civilian property, that's not terrorism. That's called education. That's how you educate the Arab world. No Arab country left behind. And, and, So now you'll know whenever Friedman talks about wanting to educate or bring education to the Arab world, what he has in mind. And he said that's all Israel was trying to do in Gaza. To quote him, he said Israel was trying to educate Hamas by inflicting a heavy death toll on Hamas militants and heavy pain, heavy pain on the Gaza population. That's how you educate Gazans. You inflict a heavy pain on the Gaza population. But of course, Mr. Friedman, he doesn't want to come across as a straightforward, forthright Nazi, even though he is one. So he wants to give a, an excuse, a rationale for his counsel. And he says, what's Israel to do? You know those Arabs. 
especially those fundamentalist, demonic, satanic, fundamentalist, Islamic, whatever. You know them. They're such cowards. They hide among the civilian population. They, as he puts it, nest themselves among civilians, embed themselves among civilians, are intertwined with civilians, and what's Israel to do? It has no option, no alternative, except to kill civilians in order to defeat, Ham uh, defeat the Hezbollah. How many of you have heard that claim, that the Hezbollah in July, August 2006, they were among the civilian population, Israel had no choice. Raise your hand. Let's see how many of you have heard that. It's a very popular claim. The problem is, it ain't so. Well, of course you shouldn't take my word for it. Let's look at those who've done serious studies, what they've found. Let's start with Human Rights Watch, one of the two most respected human rights organizations in the world. It did a study of that July-August 2006 war, the Israel-Hezbollah war, and what did it find? Well, let me quote them. We found strong evidence that Hezbollah stored most of its rockets in bunkers and weapon storage facilities located in uninhabited fields and valleys. We found strong evidence that in the vast majority of cases, Hezbollah fighters left populate civilian areas as soon as the fighting started. We found strong evidence that Hezbollah fired the vast majority of its rockets from pre-prepared positions outside villages. We found strong evidence that in all but a few of the cases of civilian deaths we investigated, Hezbollah fighters had not mixed with the civilian population. Okay. Some of you are thinking, well, what do you expect? Human Rights Watch, it's a liberal organization, it's a radical organization, it's a far out organization. Just look at its name, Human Rights Watch. It believes in human rights. Well, that's, you know, how can you take them seriously? So let's look at the study of an organization which we can all agree there's a consensus that they surely don't care about human rights. So let's look at a U.S. Army War College study. The U.S. Army War College examined the Lebanon War and it based almost all of its findings on what the Israeli participants in the war with Hezbollah told them because the Hezbollah, for fairly obvious reasons, didn't cooperate with the U.S. Army War College. And what did they find? Bear in mind, this is what the Israelis told them. The key battlefields in the land campaign south of the Latani River in Lebanon were mostly devoid of civilians. IDF participants, Israeli army participants, consistently report little or no meaningful intermingling of Hezbollah fighters and non-combatants. 